everybody, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to define your welcome dialogue and also your fallback experience, right? So what happens when a user first interacts with your virtual assistant and what happens when the virtual assistant doesn't understand what the user is saying? So we have our Orlando store e-commerce electronics uh, store virtual assistant up and running. Uh, what we're gonna do is over here on the left-hand side under intelligence, we're going to start with the welcome, um, welcome dialogue. So we're gonna click on events and we have various different events that can trigger certain actions, right? So we have our welcome event uh, first off, you can initiate a task. So any of your predefined tasks you can kick off. You can also run a script or you can show a message. In this case, we're gonna do the show message. Uh, we have the add IVR settings or add response. Uh, right here, you can you know, click to edit this or delete it. So you can uh, take a look and see that. <clears throat> and then we also have right here some of the other options that you can define as well, right? So your greetings or small talk, FAQ, task, right? So whatever you wanna do, whatever you want to trigger on the welcome event, uh, then what we can do is we can save that. And then what we'll see is when we actually connect to the virtual assistant, it loads, it loads, it loads, it's coming up. A new session has started. So uh, what do we have here, right? We see that there is that welcome message that's kicked off by the virtual assistant. So this is how you can define what happens in the case of a welcome event or that welcome dialogue. And now I want to shift gears into what it looks like if the virtual assistant doesn't understand what the user is talking about. So under intelligence, we are going to click into the default dialogue. And this is if a user's intent is not understood. So the default is a standard message or a standard error message for the standard responses, um, or you can automatically run a dialogue task, right? So what you can do is if it's not understood, you can also create a different type of fallback experience for your users, right? You can initiate a dialogue task that takes them through a fully customized experience where it makes it a bit you know, a, a, a bit less rigid. If the virtual assistant doesn't understand what the user is saying, then it can go and maybe ask a follow-up question or define and develop a better response to that user so that the user is still enjoying their overall experience with that virtual assistant. I'm just gonna keep it at the standard error message for now. We're gonna click save and you can play with this as you see fit. Um, both of these are really, really useful. It's some of those nuances that make the user experience kind of takes it to that next level. And that's ultimately what our goal is, right? We want to build phenomenal experiences that people want to use and want to continue using over time. Uh, thank you so much for listening. I look forward to our next conversation. Bye.